All right, KMR Rotary. We got some dirty front irons laid out here, and you know what that means, technical information. We're taking a look at the difference between a 20B3 rotor front iron and your normal RX-7 front iron, uh, RX-7 being most likely the FD3S. So as rotary parts get more rare, or in some cases, somebody just needs a job done quickly and maybe the parts aren't available, we always look for solutions or interchangeable parts. And questions that often come up are, can you use 13B parts to make three rotors or make four rotors? And as I've talked about a little bit on this channel, yes, you can. And that's often how it's done. So we're gonna take a quick look at the 20B NF01 iron and a little bit about what makes it particularly unique. And really it all comes down to having these through holes. You've got the ability to bolt through the front iron to that thick center plate. And that allows the engines to be taken apart and assembled because you're actually building from the thick center plate outward in both directions. Kind of unique to build three rotors. So when you're in a pinch or parts aren't necessarily available, one of the tricks we've learned at KMR is you can actually modify an RX-7 front iron to do the job. Now there's two things you really gotta take care of. One is you've gotta open up your three rotor tension bolt holes and you've got two different sizes. You've got your OEM size and then they happen to run two thicker tension bolts to that center plate. So you've got two bigger holes to open up, one up there, one down here, and then I believe it's five OEM size tension bolt holes. And Mazda put all the lands there, or the bosses, they're all cast in at the proper height. So it's really just a matter of machine work. And yes, it is machine work. We do it on an upright mill. It's very precise. And we have all of the dimensions and measurements. So if you need it done, we can do it for you. Or if you're really handy with milling equipment, you could probably do this yourself. So that being one of the most important parts, you can't use a 13B FD3S iron if you can't get the tension bolts through it. The second thing to address is actually the 20Bs or Cosmo 13B and 20B blocks ran a taller runner. Their intake runner is actually a taller dimension. And uh, if you look closely, you've actually got enough material on your FD3S blocks to port that down. So with a little bit of handy porting, you just drop your intake runner down and that can match up, match it to the gasket. So some simple porting and some simple holes drilled. And now I have a N3A1 housing that will fit a 20B block and is totally functional usable, no issues, done it many a time. And in some cases, it's actually an upgrade depending on what generation 20B you're working with. If it's a small casting block and you've got a larger casting in this oil, oil gallery FD3S uh, component, then uh, it could even be seen as a potential upgrade with the work you have to put in. Um, oil pump wise, normal side feed oil pump, so FD3S style oil pump. So even though the Cosmo and 20B blocks came out before the FD3S blocks, um, they were al already running the type of oil pump that was then inherently used in the FD3S RX-7 engines. So some crossover parts, even though the years on the 20B and Cosmo motors were closer um, to the second gen RX-7, um, I think a lot of the times these components that they ran um, in the Cosmo were just a slight uh, predecessor to what they were working on for the RX-7, or there was a lot of uh, technical bleed over for those two engines. I hope this is helpful. I find it interesting, and uh, we're always looking to solve customers' uh, issues when it comes to rebuilding engines, sourcing parts, and outsmarting um, parts availability. So in this case, multiple times over, um, depending on what issue we're resolving, 
uh, we've been able to just simply modify an RX-7 component to work in our 20 b So I think that's a wrap. I always like talking rotaries, a little bit of down and dirty on the bench rotary technical information. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you like rotaries, we're racing rotaries, we're talking rotaries, and if you want me to cover a topic or you have a question, comment below. I'm going to go work on rotaries. Wrap on out of here.